Item three, uh, 5A is the award <coughs> of the Region B license. And we do have a, an obligation under uh, the uh, tentative license award, conditional license award that we made to have a vote, a formal vote that executes and awards that license um, if the referendum uh, ballot initiative was unsuccessful, which it was, so we are now proposing to have that vote to make the formal award to MGM. Um, I believe Commissioner McHugh has that motion. I do, uh, Mr. Chairman, and um, given the, uh, the condition precedent uh, has been fulfilled, I move that the Commission formally award the Category 1 gaming license for Region B as that region is defined in General Laws Chapter 23K, Section 19A2, to Blue Tarp Redevelopment, LLC, said license to be effective on November 7, 2014, and to be subject, one, to all terms and conditions contained in the agreement between the Commission and Blue Tarp Redevelopment, LLC, dated June 13, 2014, and two, to acceptance by Blue Tarp Redevelopment LLC of the license and those conditions. Second. Second. Any further discussion? Anybody change their mind? Well, I think it's a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go with it. All in favor of the motion to uh, formally award the license finally to, uh, to MGM Springfield Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it unanimously. Congratulations. You know, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I take it, Mr. Uh, Mathis, uh, before you say anything, that you do accept the uh, license. <laughs> I thought I was going to get away with the technicality on that, Judge. Uh, <laughs> On behalf of Blue Tarp Redevelopment LLC and MGM Springfield and MGM Resorts, we happily accept the license. Thank you very much. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, and we've said this before, and you know, we'll stop breaking our arms, patting ourselves on the back. But um, even the debate about the referendum, you know, whether or not to go forward, even in that debate, um, there were uh, comments about the remarkably innovative approach and the the aspirations for Springfield that this, that this um, seems to uh, promise. And uh, I would just say again to all of you, you know, more power to you. It's really off to a great start, and we're excited about making this come to fruition. Thank you. Thank you. If I can, I'd just like to say a few words. <clears throat> First of all, I want, to, I want to extend our greetings from our chairman, Jim Murren and Bill Hornbuckle. They appreciate the effort and the professionalism that the commission has extended to us throughout this process. Um, I, I, was, I was moved by your comment this morning, uh, Mr. Chairman, about as excited as we are about the 60% that turned out in support of this vote, we're, we're laser focused on the 40% that, um, that we want to convert and we want to show that uh, this is a powerful uh, economic tool and that we will, uh, we will bring towns like Springfield, uh, Everett, and Plainville uh, back to uh, economic strength. So thank you very much and uh, look forward to working with you over the next Three years to right. get this open. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was more like 15 years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm focused on the construction site. Yes. Uh, the other thing I'd like to report is as of yesterday morning, Seaboard Drilling, a local Chicopee company, started doing board testings on our site. Uh, I think there are three contractors on the site, so that is the first three of our 2,000 construction workers. Right. And, uh, the first, uh, first few dollars of our $800 million spent. So we're making good on our promise uh, as of Wednesday morning. Great. Great. Thank you. Terrific. It's time to hear it. Thank you. Thank you.